Here at Humotech, we build advanced robotic prosthetics and exoskeletons to help patients achieve higher levels of mobility. So in 2010, I began my PhD uh, here at Carnegie Mellon. My focus was on better understanding how to design the next generation of advanced robotic prosthetic feet. As I started interacting more and more with patients and clinicians in the area, I started to better understand the needs of, of amputees today. And I realized that advanced robotics, though you know, in interesting uh, to clinicians, the technology tends to not actually be used by most patients. So, you know, our focus actually with the emulator has been to explore how different passive behaviors affect how the patient responds, how it affects their mobility. I would come in and they would try different, uh, different tests on me. So normally I would walk a certain amount of time and then break a certain amount of time. Then they would change the condition. Some of the conditions would be pretty extreme, it just felt like you're walking on a board or just a wooden peg and then some were just so compliant they're very soft and uh, a lot of times they would adjust it to what I like most. And I can ask him, I can get immediate feedback on, you know, what do you think? Uh, how does this feel? Whereas in the conventional process, the clinician prescribes a device based on their best understanding of what will work for them, but it's not until after the decision has been made that uh, you know, oftentimes that the patient can report you know, how it affects their mobility. When I go in and say, I need a new foot or I need this, it takes forever. It's just like this grind of paperwork and things. If I could go in and, and like try a bunch of different feet at once and then just make my decision, it would a better chance that I'd get a foot that I'm comfortable with. So. You know, I, I can't just uh, put, put the prosthesis on as it's intended to be used. So I wear this uh, immobilization boot. It's normally used to help heal ankle fractures. And I mount the prosthesis underneath there. So this is, we've found very useful for pilot testing, messing around in the lab, but we discovered through a series of experiments that the outcomes of studies conducted on non-amputees wearing these boots can be very different than a study conducted uh, with an amputee. I don't think the prosthesists understand, they don't, get a lot of, they don't get a lot of people that are active. When you originally come out of the hospital, it's like they give you the standard and it's, it's pretty awful. I have two small sons, like 10 and seven. They're both in Little League Baseball. And when I get home, it's like game on. It's like I'm running around, running, running, you know, bases on the baseball field, racing little kids because they're like, oh, let's race the guy with a robotic foot. <laughs> if I had a foot that, you know, was too stiff for me, and if I tried to, you know, walk for, a, you know, a long distance, it would just get painful. You get sores, and you would have to not wear it. You know, it just you couldn't wear it. I think, you know, a lot of people that have issues with their prosthetic, and I've told people that have, pro, you know, prosthetics. The same thing. I said, don't settle. I mean, you can't settle. It's your life. I mean, they're, you got to get what you want out of these people. I mean, you can't say, well, this is what they gave me, and I'm going to be in pain the rest of my life. You have to, uh, you have to just keep pushing for what you want. It's not easy. It's hard for me to imagine being where we are if it weren't for Carnegie Mellon. CMU's policies and the technology transfer side are very friendly towards startups. I've described the process that we went through to entrepreneurs that I know that have come out of other universities, and they're always shocked. The community is just very nurturing. It's just sort of built this relationship with the lab where it's kind of like, you know, you scratch our back, we'll scratch your back. We're in this together, working towards the same common goal of revolutionizing the field of prosthetics and orthotics.